leaves gently rustling in the morning breeze, dust washed away by the dew, sunshine peering through the horizon's window, bearing the gift of a day anew. A vine on the mountains of Israel, smiling silently in the sun. Why, you may ask, is this vine special? After all, it's not the only one. There are a thousand others with the beginnings of grapes that one day will be made into wine. And this one's here amongst them all. It's just an ordinary vine. If you look closely, you can read a story in its rough and rugged root, a tale of the impossible challenge that it faced as a planted shoot. Thirsting in a dry and arid climate, where every water drop is toil, growing with defiant determination, with solid rock as its only soil. Agricultural experts declared it a waste of time and money to plant, but Jewish farmers trusting the promise of God refused the answer, you simply can't. Etched into the fingerprints of its woody bark are the scars of many a fight. For there are those who stand against this land and declare God's promise isn't right. UN resolutions on the world stage threatened at a time or two, and even arsons have tried to set it ablaze, but its creator always pulls it through. This is where that impossible challenge and God's faithfulness intertwine. It stands strong as an overcomer, this ordinary vine. The flourishing, vibrant leaves under a rich blue sapphire sky remind me of a prophecy that was spoken in days gone by. A prophecy about these mountains saying they one day would be alive and the vineyards of Samaria would miraculously once again thrive. It was foretold by Jeremiah in chapter 31, I believe is the line, and I wonder if in his vision he saw this ordinary vine. The grapes shyly peeking through, the foliage with which they're framed, have become famous far and wide and are across the world acclaimed. They've won medals in Italy and France and are extraordinary, the experts say, which befuddles all those who thought this vine would merely shrivel away. So now, you know the story. You've seen each and every sign. There's something bigger happening beyond this ordinary vibe. There's a kingdom coming soon, a restoration unfolding today. And it's time to depart from indifference, for you and I have a part to play. I invite you to come and see what's happening here in this land. With those whom the world's turned against, it's time we take a stand. So come to the mountains of Israel, where redemption is beginning to shine. I hope to meet you here this year as we harvest this ordinary vine.